day 13 around the world for free. This is my new friend Steve, and we are winding things down in Ruska Village. Hey guys, the latest AT&T poll uh, was asking you where you thought felt the greatest need in Haiti was for us to deliver food. We chose three places, a family, a refugee camp, and an orphanage. Y'all chose the refugee camp, so we are filling up the truck and heading out, ready to go deliver some food. We're gonna go to 10 villages. Now, it, it may get a little rough, if so, you know, they're so desperate they get wild. If they do, we'll close up jump in the truck and go to the next one. But every place we go, they'll get some food. Oh yeah. Okay, the right one. And this is complete nourishment. Each package here will feed six children. All they have to do is add water and cook it up and they've got a nice meal. This is definitely disaster relief food. Dehydrated packages of soup, rice, protein in here. Ugh. Load her up. If they get, if they get rough, I don't feel, I feel very safe with Barbara. She's fully prepared. Let's do this. Let's feed some people. Aviento! Is this just an illusion? But I made inside my head to get me by. the different places that we've been from the beginning of this show and I just feel so lucky and so blessed to be alive and be having this experience because I've never done anything like this. I've never seen any place like Katie. This is so different from anything I've ever experienced and it's just such a rush to feel so alive. Our very first stop was at a refugee camp, which had had the time to develop a little bit since the earthquake. The houses were made of plywood and the house had tin roofs on them. And Barbara was nice enough to throw in some school supplies, so we had some notebooks and pencils to give away to the kids, too. Oh, this is amazing. These kids are so excited for a notebook and a pencil. It was really fun. I mean, those kids were grabbing for notebooks like I've never seen anything before. That's how little they have here. They don't have a piece of paper to write on. This tent city is a little more real. People are just using tarps for their walls and roofs. This is a little rowdier. The kids are really grabbing. Madame, madame. Yeah, these people are starving here. All right, back in the truck. So this is our last box of food that we have. We're gonna leave it with our friend, Pastor Volney here. So we spent the day delivering food and school supplies to kids and families at the refugee camp. So I am sad to say that it's gonna be really hard to leave these little guys at Ruska Village, but we got to move on. The nature of the show is around the world, and I can't stay in Haiti forever. But I might pack Steve in my bag for later. Colleen, please call your mother. It's very, very important. Barbara, being the take charge woman that she is, we have to know by tomorrow afternoon. Has been manning the phones for the past few days and trying to get us out of here. I'll, I'll have a Betty waiting for you when you come down as your reward. Nothing has really shaped up. All I know for sure is that Barbara is taking me to the bus station tomorrow and I'm getting on a bus to Santo Domingo. She has generously offered to buy my bus ticket. I don't really know exactly who's gonna be there to pick me up or when I'm gonna get there or even if I'll make it across the border, but hopefully I will be in Dominican Republic tomorrow. Send your messages into cbs.com slash world. Let me know where you want me to go and I will try my best to make it happen.